Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute the p-value in your f for your f statistic, okay? So obviously you know that you need three components. You need the numerator degrees of freedom. You got you need your denominator degrees of freedom. You need your actual f statistic that you've computed from the data and you want to get the p-value for the test to know whether you should accept or reject. Now you have your alpha set to either 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, or some other arbitrary alpha. That's up to you to decide. Here we're just gonna get you the p-value so that you can make your decision for your hypothesis, hypothesis test whether you want to accept or reject. So we're going to use a function in Excel that gets you the tail probability of the F, F distribution given these three components. Okay, so let's start it. Equals F dist, that's the function. The first component is the F statistic, comma. The second component is the numerator degrees of freedom, comma, the denominator degrees of freedom. Close parentheses enter and we see that our p-value is 0.6425 which is going to be insignificant for any alpha that you set. So it's safe to say that no matter what context you're using this for you're going to fail to reject or not reject the null hypothesis. Okay so again it's the formula the function that does this is f d i s t f dist you have to give it the f statistic the numerator degrees of freedom and the denominator degrees of freedom and it will give you the probability of getting a value as large or larger than this particular f statistic that you've computed okay which is by definition what the p value is okay so make sure to check out my other excel access powerpoint math and statistics are as well tutorial videos on my channel subscribe and be sure to click on the sponsors ads that keeps these videos coming to you for free till next time have a great day